Hello there. How y'all doing on this Tuesday? This is the day after Easter Monday. I sure hope that you had a good weekend. It just went past that your Sunday was great. Your Monday was great. And that today, your Tuesday was great. I went back to work today because school opened today and I was like, time to go to work. And we went and not many friends came today, but it was a good day. And so I came home, I got a little dinner and I got some things together so that I can work on this journal a little bit tonight. I wish I could just figure out how to finish it tonight, but I know that I can't. So I'm going to, well, I shouldn't say I can't because I don't know how much I want to add to this journal, but I have not been working in it too much. I've been trying to get those other three journals together and I realized that I did something else wrong. This is growing pains, right? So what I did was I put the material on the spines of the uh, journals that I'm going to be making. You saw them. You saw this one and this one right here, right? And then the third one is also right here, right? So I showed you this, but I put this on here and I forgot that it can't be this way. Like you can't put this on here like this. I'm going to have to tape it first. So I said, man, I did it backwards, but that's what I'm learning. I'm learning how to make journals. And so I have to take this part apart. I don't know how easy this one's going to be. Well, it took the top layer off and that's fine. We have to take that apart and then we'll be starting over with these spines because I forgot that I need to take them down like this and then put the material on there. So... I've been working on that, but the Easter weekend was here, Resurrection Sunday, all of that. And I said, listen, we don't have time to work on that stuff right now. So put it to the side and we'll get to it when we get to it. But just keep thinking of creativity because I don't know this stuff. I'm learning this. And so here we go. I have this journal, which you saw me make um, a few weeks ago. Like it's been over a month that I've made this and I have some things in here but I have to add some stuff so first what I want to do is I want to show you this box this box let me move this this box right here was a washi tape box and it came with some washi tape that didn't have very many animals on it but it was, you know, kind of in this color scheme. And I cut the whole box up and cut it all down and everything because I make everything, you know, useful if I can. And I thought that, hey, let's use this. Let's make some bookmarks. We made some bookmarks out of some of the sides. And all of them are the same. And then I have, you know, something cut down for tags. And then I took the sides that was holding um, another box down that had the envelopes underneath and the paper on top. And I said, this can be like what you would do with a folder. And I took, it had one of these. And then I took my two inch punch and I made one. So I said, okay, we're going to incorporate these things into this journal tonight. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Then I'm going to try to add stuff to some places that might need something. So let's look for a good place to put something else in. Maybe right here. This right here might work on this page. Now we could put it on here because it's blue. Like I'm trying to keep all this stuff kind of in theme with this color because I don't really know what else to do. And um I'm trying to see how to, you know, work it in some kind of way. So for this, this paper is glossy and I don't think that the ink that I have works too well with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it down. And when I glue it down, then maybe I'll put some washi around the edges of it. Not that everything has to be decorated, but, you know, it just makes good for 
you know, something sometimes when you add a little bit of ink or you can use some washi tape. So I'm going to do that for this and make this like a, a great tuck pocket type of thingy that we can put some goodies in for somebody to find and just put that down okay and then after we put that down I'm gonna find some kind of washi to add to the sides of it and let's see if we can use I really need me something that can hold this open okay so good all right we have this kind of washi and we'll use some of this first maybe we'll just drop some of this i'm still looking off to the side and before we put it down we want to get the glue see this is puffing up a little bit and we'll put a little bit of glue on here just so it sticks real good okay put a little bit over here a little bit on the blue a little bit on the paper all right and we'll do those two sides first so that our tape don't i mean our glue don't dry before we get our tape onto it and then we'll put this here let's give it a little something okay what if we use different colors maybe that might look nice too let's try it we got a few different types of this different colors different patterns same pattern but different colors i should say different shades of green and different shades of the orange i got the white one over here one has like a checker blue on it and the other one has like a a light blue like the same shade as this so let's just oh we didn't put none there so let's hold on just sticking up a little bit let's put this one on this side stick this down Okay, let's snip that off a little bit. And then we'll find one more. I don't really want to use the black one. Um, maybe this, oh, this is light blue. This is a brown. Well, it's like, you know, purpley. It looks like it's brown, but it's more purpley, I think. So let's try this one. Snip this a little bit. Run a little bit of glue here. And see how this turns out. Like this. Put a little bit on there. And a little bit on here. Okay. And then we'll come across here. Like this. That doesn't look so bad. That looks pretty cool. I think that's all right. Chip the paper a little bit, but that should be okay. All right. And now that's what we have for that. Okay. And then we can come back and we can put some fun things in there. All right. We might use these tapes somewhere else so that they can also... You know, look like they are part of what we're doing. Let's find a sticker that we can plop right there. I think a, um, a flower might be good here. Let's get a flower sticker. Oh, I didn't even pull those out. Let's use this. Let's use this. This is good. This is good right here. One day fatal will take some ink. It might not take it. It's so glossy. Let's try to tone down the gloss a little bit this is just a sanding block and I use this to kind of take some of the sheen off of the um, sticker so it's not as shiny because it makes it look a little bit off when you 
have all the ink and you have the old paper and then you got these shiny stickers that have all this white edging around it so just kind of dull it down a little bit all right and let's plop this i thought a flower might look real nice right there and it would but this is a whole basket so this can work too okay and we'll put it right on should we do it that way our book is going to stand up and we did that like that should we put it here like this or right here like that because when they turn it they're going to turn it to take things out so that might be but it might be okay like this too so let's just put it here it's fine yeah that looks good okay and so then we can move on and see what else we can do i have this book i want to take this squirrel out of this book and he is right here this is a book that i get from school some of the books are in the foyer when you come in the building and it says take some books home right and so we have this and we'll take this part want to know where i live Okay, let's see. Do we want to use this whole page? Maybe we'll just tear it out. And then we will add some of the text that's talking about him. Like what type of squirrel he is, for sure. And then we'll see how we handle the rest. Okay. Then you come on around here like this because I feel like sometimes I was just telling myself, can I just be honest? I was just telling myself, you don't, you don't do a lot of creating. You're, you're thinking about it, but you don't really know how to do it. And it seems like I buy more things than I am creating, but I know that I had some true logic behind it and it was because I don't want to get stuck trying to create journals trying to learn how to do this in some kind of way that I think is nice and then I wind up looking at my um, journals looking as though all of them look the same that is so cute on there let me see if I want to find another place for it though most of these pages have the same ink color that's pretty too. Um, on the it's nothing on this page. This is just a, you know, a cluster clip. Let's put him on here. This will be cool here. Okay. And I just, I just feel like maybe I'm a little bit afraid of how to really work in this kind of thing because. I don't know how to do it. You know, it's like, it's no class. There are no rules. You can just make it what you want it to be. That's what I hear all the time from a whole lot of creators who do junk journaling. And so while I feel like I've bought enough things, I have enough books to pull from, now I need to make some kind of list for myself so I can know what I actually have because, you know, just trying to keep up with the whole piece sometimes can be a whole lot. And um, it, it just seems like, you know, now is the time to get to actually creating. So I told myself today, when you go home, eat something or not eat, but start working on one of your journals. And that's what I'm trying to do. Start working on one of my journals. You look very cute right there. Let's see if we can put your name here. We may change this. And um, in late winter, I bite into maple trees, drinking their sugary sweet sap. Oh, okay, let's get this. We'll get this piece. And we might ink that. And then, let me see. Okay, we'll get this. And we'll just get these two pieces here and ink that. And put these on this page. Okay. That's what we'll do. 
and add this here because I just love this type of thing. I just love it, but I don't I don't totally know what I'm doing like some people do. And I guess they didn't know either at first, and they had to learn something, and I'm trying to learn something. And you, you learn by doing. So I'm just going to start doing and see where it takes me. Where does it take me? Am I doing something that's beautiful and people are really loving it? Right. So I have to just get in here with both feet unapologetically and just say, you know what? This is okay. This is okay. It's going to be fine. And so that's where I am with that. And I'm going to add a little bit of black just because it'll help it stand out a little bit because the ink that I have is blending with the words a little bit and it's the same ink on the pages. And so a little bit of black will help that pop and maybe I will put that underneath a little bit of book page. Might help it stand out even more. So let's try that too. Just add some uh, book page behind it. If I can separate the pages. Okay. And then let's see. Okay. Put this all the way up here and tear around it a little bit. But leave some. Put this off to the side. And come on around a little bit. That's a little straight. One to have a little bit of roundedness to it. I don't think I tore that so good. Don't have enough. Okay, let's do it again. It's okay. We got to learn how to do something. And we can't learn how to do it off camera. We have to learn how to do it on camera. Okay, so let's try and just round this piece a little bit. And come on around. And all the way around. Like so. And it's still straight. But you know what you're going to do. And then a whole lot you can do. Just try and make it so that, yeah, it can set on here in a way that helps it out a little bit. Helps it stand out a little bit more. Okay. Good. And so then we'll glue this on here. Like so. Put that on there. And help that. Like that. Don't matter that it's leaning. Leaning is fine. Then you can put that on here. Slide it off so we get some on the edge. And on that edge. And then we can put that there. Okay? Good. Now we can put this piece down here. Do we want to put it there? Down here. Right there is okay. It doesn't matter if covers up his foot a little bit. It's fine. Let's put this on. Come on around. And we'll add a little bit more book page to it. Add a little bit of this red. And then pop that right there. Do we need book page with it? Maybe not. Let's see. Do we want book page? We could have book page. Okay, we can do it. Let's just put it on. Let's put it near this number. And let's tear it around. Okay. And keep it here. Uh-huh. And tear this around a little bit. Yeah. Come on around here a little bit. Keep everything torn. Looking the same. And then we can move right along to something else. And see what we can get done. At least a few pages. Some of the pages are done. So it shouldn't take a whole, whole lot of trying to get it 
done tonight a little bit. Let's see. It's hanging out. Let's see, a little bit. And then run some of this on here. And then don't cover up the number. Just put that right there. And that's cool. That looks pretty cool. Okay, good. Now we will go ahead and move along. And let's see what we have. We have this card. This card is a birthday card. Okay, and it was, you know, in like this. And I cut it to see if I wanted to do that, and I did. And the way I'm going to put this together is with washi, and that's why I already have this one because I said this is close to the um, page color. So let's use it as what can hold the card together again. And then we'll apply it to a page like, you know, a flip. Let's see. Hold these up. It's not exactly even, but it's not going to be too even because I didn't want to cut away the doghouse on the other side, which kind of is like that barn that I did. So... I just want to rub a little bit on here, on the edge, uh -oh. and then hold it and turn it over like this, and put it on this edge, because when we put the tape on, we want it to run over. Alright, so let me see how I'm going to put this here, like halfway. And then pull that down a little bit. And then I'm going to snip it off. And then make sure that I got enough covering. Yes. Both of the bottoms are pretty even. And then we're just going to fold this over like so. And that's not too bad on here. I could have used the green one. But I didn't want the green to be on the white side. So I said it's fine. Just like that. Just use that one. And that'll be okay. And now it'll open this way. Okay. And we'll just squeeze those and snip those ends off. Like that. And then for here, where it says happy birthday, we will put something else there like some lined paper and maybe somebody wants to use that as something they want to write on okay and that should be just enough so we're going to go this way like say like here okay and then I'm going to cut this edge off because that doesn't look nice. And this one, oh, somebody's been scribbling there. Even better because what's happening is it's looking like junk. And that's what we're doing. We're making something beautiful out of junk. Okay, so we'll put that. It's not quite covering. Yes, it does. Okay, and then we'll just add... I could do one, but I didn't want it to really show up like that. Maybe, 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 let's see. Maybe we can just come around like so. Let's see. Do we want to do that? Let's come around a little bit more. Come on down here and edge this around the dog. And maybe we'll just do it like that. And we're needing some edging over here. I think just a little bit of rounding. Let's see where we are with that. Yeah, let's do it like that. I don't think it's going to be terribly, terribly bad because you can see a little bit through it. I think it'll be fine. 
I think so, because the point is you have somewhere to write, to note, to list, to whatever you're going to do. And it was a card, but now it's something totally different that is still very useful. Okay? And there we go. We'll press that down. And that's okay like that. And we have these pups and kitten there. Right? Is that a pup? That might be a puppy. It looks like a cat to me. What do you think? Looks like a cat. But it could be a puppy. I don't know. Okay? And so, see? It's all cats and dogs here. So, I think it's a kitten. And so, here we go with that. And this is kind of held together that way. And this can still offer some writing space. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to add some book page to it. Here goes some right here, a little thin strip. Let's tear that off. We'll just add some book page down here. Could have ran some washi, but we'll just add the book page. It's okay. I see people do this kind of thing and I say, oh. Can you do that? Is that all right? Or does that look, you know, kind of tacky or, or unthought through or something? But I see people do it. We might want to turn it around, though. Not have it upside down. Okay. And then um, we just need a little bit more. Let's see. Maybe we'll tear this piece off up there. And let this piece be like that. Okay? And then that's that. And then you could complement that by taking another piece. Then I have a piece I did. It's right here. And I can get these scissors that are right here. And I can cut this in a decorative edge like so almost like a stamp and we can just put it somewhere else let's put some ink on it and then we'll add that to it and then it doesn't look all the way bad like maybe how it may have seemed to be looking at the front okay we can put that there or there i'm gonna go this way I think that's okay, like that. Okay, is that upside down? It is. Let's go this way. Put that up there like a stamp. And then I have some other little stamps. Where are my little teeny ones? They are right here. I have a lot of little stamps and cards and things like that that I've been cutting time, time, time ago days gone by as somebody would say and we'll just take one of the smaller ones and put it not that and just put it on there let's see let's see let's see it's okay let's ink this one up a little bit let's put some ink on there they say ink really gives a whole lot to what you're trying to create so you know I just I don't ink a lot but you know that's what they tell me you can do and I'll put that there and there we go and then that's that so then we'll find a page to put that on let's see where we want to go let's go not there that's a nice place to something how about this how about yeah let's put it on here it's okay let's put it on here okay then we'll open this up and we'll put it on here like this but I think it's missing something I think we should add something here just because it's just a blank page no lines or anything I think we should add something here that helps to, you know, bring it together in a way. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see what we can add. I like that a little bit. There's a dog. That's too big. That's a dog. I picked these last night because I knew I wanted to put something somewhere. There you go. That will work. Let's use this. It says, love yourself. As I was looking for some to put in place, I said, choose some stickers and just have them in place for when you work on a journal. And I knew I was thinking about this journal. So that's good. And this is what became of the card. It's just, you know, animals. And then we have two flip sides. And it's beautiful. We can take this and put it there. And I don't want this cluster. I'm not going to use that cluster. I'm going to make a journaling tag. Let's use something plain. Let's just make one. Make it plain. Okay? Because I didn't really know what I was going to do. But I said, I'm using this whole washi tape box. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going to do something. All right, let's use about that much. We'll save that. And then we will take this, fold it. Oh, I hate to put a fold in a stiff board because it makes it so, see, like that. But it's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just push it out. Let's get some green. Let's get some green ink and come around the edges. Some green ink. Like so. And then we can make this like a a hidden paper clip tag okay and so you would do that by taking your paper clip let me see can I do it that way um let me see can I do it that way put my paper clip in the middle let's see I gotta make sure before I glue it can I use it I need it inside. No, I can't. Well, I can do it like this. I can do it like that. And then I have to fold this up. Yes, I can do it like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, so I can put it on here like so. I'm going to take some of it off. And I'm gonna put this piece on like that. And then I'm gonna trim it. Like that. Then I'm gonna put this small piece out. And then I'm gonna put the rest of this glue here, a little bit more. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this piece up on here like that. Press it in all around. Might need some more. Might not be enough all the way out. So it can be all the way out like that. Okay. And we're putting that inside of there. And then we're going to come, we're going to trim that over again, like here. And come around, like so. And then I'm going to have that. And then we can slide this on top. It would be cool if I had a number... Let me see if I can find a number 
to put on there. But first I'm going to attach it on here. I'm not going to round the bottom. I'm just going to put this on here to hold this. You should let it dry. I knew it. You should have let it dry. Okay. Okay. We'll do it again. It's okay. We'll do it again. Because it's thin paper, right? It's thin paper. I have a whole bunch of clusters. I want to make something different and use what I have on my table. I have tons of clusters. Okay. I've learned from Pam at the Paper Outpost that nothing is a mistake. It can all be fixed. And you don't have to let it be a problem. All you have to do is recreate something out of it. And that's it. Because it's just paper. And we are creating with paper beautiful things that... You know, will otherwise be tossed in, in the trash bin somewhere. And it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind you seeing my flaws because I'm not perfect and I'm not going to try to be perfect. Let it dry. I hear Pam say all the time, she says, don't touch the stickles. Set it to the side and let it dry. I listen to her all the time. And so... Now we have that, and I could just make a regular tag, but I don't want a regular tag. I want a paper clip tag, and so the only way you're going to be able to use it, where did I put my paper clip? Did anybody see me put it somewhere? I don't know, so let's just get another one. It's okay. We have plenty. Don't drop it. See? We have plenty. A little teeny mug holding them over here. And I just bought a whole bunch of them right here, right? whole bunch of them I just bought. So let's just add another clip. And not the big side, the thin side. Okay. And then let's use that and let's put this on here. Again, well, just leave it. Don't, don't hide it. Just leave it. Okay. It's fine. And just put this on here somewhere. Where can we put it? It's going to hide something. We don't know what. But that's okay. Let it hold that page. We'll come back later and maybe do something else. Okay? Where's this other thing I had? See? This is a cluster. Okay? I don't know where I'm going to use this at. Okay. So let's see about this. See if we have any other small types of farm animals. I don't know if we do. I know it's a pig in here. It's a dog. He's a big dog. He's a big dog. Oh, got a cat. What is this? It's a little dog or a deer or something. I'm not sure what it is. A hippo. A cow. Let's see, what is that? A giraffe. A giraffe. This pig, let's use it. And, okay, maybe we'll use it, the pig. I don't know, we might use it all. I got these out of magazine, this here. But let's just put the pig on here. Let's use that. Okay, we'll put the pig on here. Okay, that's there. And should we use these? Maybe, why not? We got a chick there, it's gonna cover the chick. Should we put it there? No, no. Let's use the dog, we got a dog. Let's think of something else, I don't know what. I don't have another farm animal. I don't have another farm animal. I don't know. Maybe I should have put that there and put the pig here. Um, 
I wanted something to cover this. And as I was looking through my stickers, I didn't find very much. I don't know. This is not a farm animal, though. But this cow is. That's a pig and a pig. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is a shiny, shiny one. The pig might be shiny, too, but it doesn't look real shiny. It didn't look real shiny. All right. Well, I'm trying to add to this journal. I'm trying to add to this journal. I don't know why I wanted to choose all animals. I don't even know why. But some kind of way or other, it happened like that. I don't know. I learned a new trick for getting the stickers off too. I was watching someone's video and I learned a new trick for how to get the stickers off. I think I'm going to put the cat here. Not sure if it's going to be a good idea, but we're going to do it. Okay? Just because I want something on the barn doors. Okay? And this already opens to how many pigs we're going to have. We have all pigs. Can we take this off without destroying it? You know, I don't really know. Maybe this is a pig pen. Let's see if we can get this off. Okay, good. Because we have a pig. It opens up to a pig. All right, let's think of something else. We'll put this pig somewhere else. I don't know where. I don't know where. Let's see. Let's put the pig here. No. It's a cow there. Can we put the pig here? Can we put the pig here? No. I don't know where to put the pig. Put the pig here. Let it stay down. Okay? All right, good. Now we're finished with that. Now I want to make something with this. Okay? So I have this called Stamps Glossary that came out of a book. And I got two. Okay? One says Livestock. And the other says Apprentice and Heifer. Okay, so I want to use those because this came out of a book. And I said, this is cool. Let's just add these and put these in somewhere in our pockets that are already here or pockets that we're going to make. Either way. We need something to put in them. And so, here we go. All of this is behind the camera scene where you're supposed to be doing this, but I'm not doing it off camera because then, you know, I don't take much joy in watching people's um, work unless it's a full flip through. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I want to watch them put it together. Not, you know, just let me show you what I did. And then we didn't get to see you while you were doing it. You know, so I just want to watch a flip through when you're showing from the beginning to the end of the book. And some people just do that. That's all they do. They don't do you know, the whole uh, page by page, because this is a lot of work. This is not easy work. There's nothing, you know, easy about this. You have to think about what you're going to make, and then you have to think about what you're going to use to fill the pages at least partly or all the way. And so some of it you do behind the scenes, and some of it you need to be showing your people who come to your channel for this type of content. And it's not easy. 
especially when you're new and don't know what you're doing really. And I keep saying that, but it's my truth. You know, some people write me and they say, you know, you're doing a good job and this turned out really well and, you know, keep going. And I'm very encouraged by that. I am. I'm very encouraged by it. But, you know, this is in no wise easy. Okay, so we're going to find, I want that black and yellow fold corner piece. Fold that corner piece. It's black and yellow. Might be back here some more. But it's in here. It's a corner piece. I don't see it. It's like, why can I find it? Hmm, I don't see it yet. Is it in here? Are you sure it is in here? Because I put it in here with cardstock. It was one of the early days of trying to find something to put in here. And it is hiding really good. But I tell you, it is in here. Where? There it is. Okay, and so we have this right here. It seems like it can't go all the way in. And so it's okay. We're going to just tuck it here. That's what I'm going to do like that. And then I'll put this one here like so. Okay, and then we might add something else to that. Then we're going to see what we can put up front. Where is, okay, let's see. Do we want to put something here? Let's put some ink on it first. This is a long bookmark. It's long. Let's see if we might, might want to round it up a little bit more to get... And then, so it doesn't hang past the pages. That milk bottle had to go, I guess. Because that's the way it ended up. And I did use my corner rounder. But um, it's okay. There you go. All right. And so, let's finish inking it. And then we'll put that in here too. All garbage. This was a box, but it's cardstock, and that's what we use a lot of times to strengthen our paper when we're putting it in. And why would I waste that? So I'm going to use this one. Nope, not in there. Can we put it in here? Let's see. Nope, it's not going to stay because it's going to tear that. But we can put it here. We can just put it on this page. But we need a different cluster. Let me get my clusters. Oh, something. Let's see what else we can find. This doesn't have a paper clip on it. No, it does not. I need paper clips. Okay, let's see. What can we put here with this? Um, yes, I learned how to make these by watching, you know, you guessed it, Pam at the Paper Outpost. She said all these itty bitty pieces of paper that look like junk, all in your bin of scraps and, and cuts. You can make all kinds of nice cluster holdings for your work. So I'm going to take this bookmark and put that on here with this paper clip like that. And let it hold that on there. Okay, and then we need something to put in there. But I don't think I have anything, but I have these. And I wanted to make something to put, like I wanted to make 
those staggered types of pockets that they make. Let's see. Let's try this one like this. Okay, this is just a pocket folder that I was cutting up a while ago and I um said let's use this. We'll cut a little bit of this off. And a little bit of this. And then we'll go ahead and we will put a little ink on here. I don't want this color. I want it black. Ouch. Something hurts me. And I don't know what this pain is. I don't know what it is. But something's been hurting me. And I'm not sure what it is. But God knows. I may have to go to the doctor. I might have to go to the doctor because something is not comfortable when I lean to the right. And I'm not sure why. Okay, so now we're going to use that one here. Okay. Just put a little bit around. Come on around. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a rub so it's not too wet. Wet, And then I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the orange one and make another one. This is another folder. And I'm going to make this one. A little bit shorter so maybe here that came out to be that way okay and we're going to make this a little narrower than that so that it will be you know just a wee bit smaller like that and then we're going to give it a little clip to it also. I'm trying to put it where I can kind of see it a little bit. And then we're going to add some ink to this one. Okay. And then we'll glue it down. Okay. Put that one right there. Not too, too close. Okay. And we'll finger that one a little bit. And then we'll set that one down about right here. Okay. That's two. I might not get three on there. I wanted three on there. But I don't know if I can get three on there. That's going to, you know, work for me. Let's try it. If it does, we'll be glad. But if it does not, then we knew we couldn't do it. So all we can do is try. All right, I'm cutting it all down to see how small I can get it to see if it will make sense or no. Okay, this corner seems to be a little rounded. So maybe because of the angle. All right, let's take a little bit of this off. Maybe it can just hold a cool sticker. We might have to just take a wee bit more. Okay. Let's see. And then let's give that a, a little bit of a 
a chap also. It's almost okay. And let's give it a little bit of ink. Okay. All right, and now we will give that a little teeny bit of blue. Just a little bit. Let's rub that one around. This one is really small. And let's put that one right about here. Okay. Something's going to be hanging out of there maybe. And it's okay to have hangout stuff if you want something to peek out a little bit. It won't be a bad, bad thing. It happens sometimes. People have all kinds of things hanging out the edges of their journal and over the top and everything. So it's okay. All right. So now we have that. So let me show you what I've done tonight. I'll probably keep working behind the scene because I want to add a few more things, but we're already on 56 and I don't want to hold you all night. That's a little off centered, but let's see. It's a little off centered. It's okay. We got it quick enough. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, we'll find something to put in there. So tonight, we added something to this pocket. I still feel like I'm going to put something here because it's just maybe not enough of something there. And then we added something to this pocket. Let's see. Nothing up there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Stay Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Nothing up here. We added a little pig sticker there. This is too cute. This reminds me of the blue. Reminds me of the foot wash for the cows on the dairy farm. Okay. Keeps their feet healthy. Okay. Then we added... This bookmark and this pocket with that washi. I might need to add some glue right there. I don't know. Maybe a little bit or something. It looks like, you know, it wants to pull away. Let's just put a little bit of glue in there. Wipe some out so it don't stick to our pages. Okay, so we had that. We, we created all of this, put that on there, added this and that. Let's see what else. Um, let me just put this here because I don't want it to stick to my page. Okay. And then we just made that. And we added that squirrel in these two. And let's see what else we added here tonight. We added this card and that tag. That's a flip. We'll put that page on there. And we added a few pieces of sticker to this barn. And I think that's going to be it. So I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to keep doing to this journal. But I am trying to add some stuff and get it to a I'm finished with this one place. But I'm not finished yet. I need to add some more stuff. And um, it needs to you know, get a little bit more full than this. So thanks for watching with me tonight as I created a little bit more in this journal. And I hope that you will take time to comment and to, you know, just share some words, some words of kindness and some, you know, maybe some tips and something that can help. And I will see y'all on maybe tomorrow, Wednesday, if not on Thursday. And until then, y'all take good care. Thanks again. Peace.